Question 22. Solve the simultaneous equations 4x plus 2y equals 4, 4x plus 5y equals 17. Now remember, there are two ways to do this. There's, there's no squares in it, it's just x, x, y, y. So what we need to do is match up the number of either x's or y's. Now if you look at that, 3x and 4x. The lowest common multiple of 3 and 4 is 12. So you could multiply each line so you get 12x on both. Or you can do the y's. Uh, 2 and 5 both go into 10. So you'd match them up by getting 10y on each one. And I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to eliminate the y's by making those the same. So I'm going to call this number 1 and that number 2. And I'm going to take number 1 and I'm going to times it by 5. That means you're going to times that by 5, that by 5, that by 5. And that'll give us 10 y's. And I'll take number 2 and I'll times that one by 2. Because that'll give us 10y as well. So, I'll do the first one. Number 1 times by 5. So 3x times by 5 is 15x. 2y times by 5 is 10y. Which is what we wanted. And then 4 times by 5 is 20. And I'll call that line 3. Number 2, we're going to times everything by 2, so 4x times 2 becomes 8x. 5y times 2 becomes 10y, which is what we wanted. And then 17 times 2 is 34. And I'll call that line 4. So now, what we're going to do, we need to do something to line 3 and 4, which will get rid of our y's. And it's either going to be a plus or a minus. We're either going to subtract one line from the other, or add the two lines together. Now think about this. You've got 10y and 10y. If you add both lines together, you're going to end up with 10y plus 10y, which is 20y. That does not get rid of the y's. So what we're going to have to do is subtract one line from the other. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose the number, uh, the line with the biggest x's, that's number 3, and subtract the line with the smallest number of x's, because they'll be left over, x's, and uh, I think it's better if we don't have a negative. If you did do it the other way, line 4, take away line 3, you still get it in the end, so don't worry if you do the wrong thing. I just think it's easy this way. So I'm going to do line 3, take away line 4. So, 15x, take away 8x, is 7x. 10y, take away 10y is nothing, so it's gone, that's what we wanted. And then 20, take away 34, well 34, take away 20, is 14, so 20, take away 34, is minus 14. So 7x is minus 14, x divided by 7 is minus 14, divided by 7, which is minus 2. So I've got minus 2 for x. To work out the y part, all we need to do now is substitute our x into one of those. And I think I'm going to substitute into the first one, because the y's got smaller numbers, it's got smaller numbers in general. So I'm going to say substitute uh, x equals minus 2 into line 1. Okay, so if x is minus 2, 3x is 3 lots of minus 2, which is minus 6. And then you've got plus 2y equals 14. 4, sorry. So that line there is exactly the same as that line, but instead of 3x, I've got minus 6. So now we're just going to solve it as we would. I'm going to get rid of minus 6 from this side to leave us with 2y. So I'll add 6, which means I've also got to add 6 to this side. 4 plus 6 is 10. 2y is 10, so y is 5. Done. 